bow down before they call him a man. How many seas must a white dove sail Good morning. It's great to be with you on this Friday morning. God is good. Um, I just want to share with you today, and, and I want you to keep this thought in your mind, that God is a loving and forgiving God. So if you have fallen down, if you have made a mistake, if you have messed up somehow, God is still there to forgive you. All you have to do is come to him. David, King David, he, he uh, found himself in an adulterous situation, but he came before God. And he, and he sought God's help and God's mercy, and God forgave him, and he can forgive you as well. So I want to read this to encourage you this morning, Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, David said, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, he said, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And here's the key for David, why he got cleansed. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. He says, Against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mayest justify it when thou speakest, and be clear when thy when thou judgest. So in other words, David was honest. He fessed up. He didn't blame anybody else. He didn't blame his parents. He didn't blame his sister or brother. He didn't blame his husband and wife. He took ownership of the fact that he made a mistake. But he came honestly before God and said, God, have mercy upon me. And if you do that today, God's mercy will be extended to you as well. Oh, God bless you. Get back up again. Amen. How many roads must a man walk down? Before they call him a man How many seas must a white dove sail